Uh, Nathan was asking where you were, sir. Sir, um, before we reach assembly. Right, right, we're right on assembly, but we'll just finish all the uh, other parts of the assembly. Yeah, man, this. Yes, sir, right, we can so, see. All right. So that's, yeah, man, that's that, yeah, man. So let's start over then. All right. So. Sir, we still have the one question. Yeah. What, what's the question? Sir, like my laptop USB port, sir. My laptop yeah. USB port kind of um, damage. So I did wonder if we could have sent the people that made the exam with a SD card. I mean, uh, Mr. John, so we'll have all sorts of stuff to, to, get, to get the drawing file from you guys. Mr. Johnson. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. John, so we'll have a lot of stuff to get the drawing file from you guys. Channel style. Yeah, but in essence, um, orthographic drawing and assembly drawing, you see, once you get all the major parts out of the way, meaning that um, if they ask for a plan view and a sectional elevation, you draw everything in relation to the plan view and everything in relation to the sectional views. And then after now, you just go through the, the instruction sheet and just follow what it says. So it says, such connect to that at that location, you simply just move them into place. All right. You get what I'm saying? And then now, anything that would be um, behind something, you simply erase or you change the line type to in detail so let's go ahead and see um because we have already done all our parts here already it's just a matter of us doing the assembly of the entire thing all right so let's pull up the instructions let's pull up the instruction and listen to what it has to say so i hope everyone is still hearing me is everyone hearing me everybody seeing my screen right Yes, sir. All right, cool. The screen is split, sir. I cannot see all of it, sir. All right, yeah. I just wanted to so I just wanted to read this instruction here, um, where it says that for the orthographic drawing, they say that the assembly, the assembly, the wheel, which is called part number three. That's this. That's this here. This is the wheel. All right, it's set on to axle four or the axle, which is part number four. So basically what they're saying is that you see this wheel goes on to this axle here. Now remember, we have two views. We have the end view for end elevation right here. And we have um, this view here, which will be used to generate our sectional view. All right. Now. Just from looking here, you can see how things are going to match up. So, for example, let me grab my um, main bracket here. And I'm going to copy my bracket and I'm going to place it somewhere here. Alright. Now, if I'm going to place my axle, which is this here, my axle. This is my axle. This is my drawing of the axle. Based on this view here, which is the end view, we'll only be seeing the circular portions. So what am I going to do? I'm going to copy these here. CP. Now, if I were to place these, this um, end view of this, um, what do you call this? The axle here. It will be basically placed on this side of my bracket not on this side on this side here because what we're seeing over here is what we'll see if we're looking from this direction on it so if we place it over here it means that all of this here will be, will be blocking our axle at least the main parts of the axle so it means that this is going to be turned into a hidden detail line all right i know are we going to place it we're simply just Dropping it right there in the middle. And then we simply change these lines to hidden detail or placing it on our hidden detail. Now, 
that's the axle out of the way and if the wheel is going on the axle meaning that the axle this when it's turned the right way it will be on this side here over the axle all right not on this side and if it's on this side and we're looking from over here it means that a portion of this is going to be blocked by the bracket itself and let's see if we were to place this right here all right let me go ahead and change these to detail so look at it now now if it's right behind this bracket here it means that we would not see none of that there but we need to indicate that it's there right so what are we going to do we're going to draw or redraw the circle that we have just trimmed away and when we redraw the circle we're going to change the line type to hidden detail all right then we're going to trim away all of that only leaving this portion visible from a sectional view what is basically going on is that you see this portions of the black board portion of the block here let me see if I can place it accordingly let me grab this here let me see if I can align it and move it like that let me get rid of that now they say that this shaft here move. let's copy this which is basically a circle that we copied a while ago and place here from the other view it is going to look like let me make sure I'm at the right spot it means that this is going to be located right here like that all right because we're going to do the section for this here so that is going to be placed right there now if this shaft is placed right here it means that and we were to cut the object it means that we'll only see the shaft and everything behind it will be out of the view All right, so it's going to look something similar to that right there. Now we need some space, so let me move it more to my right. Now, we need to have the wheel, and the wheel is going to go over this here. Now we have drawn the wheel right here, but our wheel is not oriented the correct way. So it means that we need to rotate our wheel so that our wheel can fit over our object now if you look at this object here you realize that when i move it when i'm going to move it into place it is going to somewhat fall exactly on these you'll realize that these lines here line up exactly with these here all right so let's go ahead and move that into place. Let me get rid of this center line for now. And I'm going to place my own little line there just to act as a reference line. More reference line, something to hold on to. And I'm going to move this into place using the center right there. Let's drop it right in the center there. Now notice what happened. See how these lines, as I mentioned, line up with each other. Now it means that the shaft is running through this um, wheel here. Now if it's running through the wheel here, it means that it is going to be blocking a some portion of our little wheel here. So what are we going to do? We trim all of that out because in, in sectional drawing, we don't have hidden detail lines. And if we're cutting it along here, it means that all of this here is going to become solid lines
all right now remember they said earlier that there is two of these here so all we're going to do is to simply grab onto these here and then mirror it to the other side so now you see that the wheel is there and then this is holding it together now this here needs to be pulled over these bracket needs to be pulled over some more all right but first let's continue so you see how things are lining up so this is what you're seeing if you're looking from this direction at this object here all of that is what you'll see here you'll see this wheel here but the wheel is being blocked by this here so you will have to show those portion in hidden detail and so on and so forth all right now this bracket here now this bracket here actually goes underneath here like this and i'm going to see if i can place it where it needs to be placed so let me quickly um mirror rotate this object here all right so let's move it <coughs> so let's move this over first grab this grab that hold on to that let's move this in let's grab on to this this all right Trim that. Let's do it here as well. All right, so we have our. Let me see. Delete that. Delete that. So we have all of that now in place, and we now need to position our little plate. What is left? for us so we need to position our plate and we have our plate right here so we have both views of it but this is a plan view so we'll not necessarily see a portion of this here so things should be lining up around this location here all right So this portion here needs to um, fall in a bit more. So let me just see if I can draw a line across like this. And this is just for reference purpose only. So I can move this. Move. All right. All right, now let's move over these so they can be where they need to be. So we're going to move these so that they're right, right there, like that. All right, and this one is going to be moved as well. So we're moving it right here. Now earlier there was a confusion in relation to where these holes would be. Now we know where these holes are supposed to be. 
because they're going to line up exactly with the um, wall plate thing missing there. All right, now that will be that. Now when you're doing all of this here, the portion that will be hatched, and remember we do not have inner lines in sectional drawing, so we're going to change these to solid lines. And the portions that are going to be hatched are, for example, here, here, and here. Now this portion here is where the bolts are going to go. And the bolts will be represented there as if you are seeing them in real life. Meaning that you're not going to cut through the bolts or anything like that. Also, when you do look at the section, you'll realize that you actually cut through this portion here, which is the web. But webs are not hatched, or we do not section webs um, in sectional drawing. So you're going to leave that blank and simply hatch um, everything else. All right. All right, just like that. Now, there are some bit of controversy with this now. So, for example, you will not touch the web. You're not going to touch the bolt. You're not going to touch the shaft. And you want to clean this up a bit. <laughs> we can have line running through the arch as well. That's one of the rules, like the English language. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're simply going to leave all of this as is because this portion here, this portion here will represent, or this is also a web as well. So we don't touch the web, so we're going to leave that as is. Alright, this is considered to be a web as well. That's this portion going across, so you're not going to touch that, you're going to leave that. The bolt now, you have to place the bolt where they need to be. So, for example, once you have completed your bolt, you'll place them where they need to be. For example, let me just get rid of this here. basically move this into place grab it there and you place it right there now you see how those line up perfectly now you'll have one of these on the other side as well now based on the board specification you have drawn this a lot better than me and you'd have probably had a lot more time as well so all you need to do, you need to have one of these on the other side as well. So you can copy it over. I'm just going to mirror it. Because it's a lot easier for me to do that. And then now you add your bolt onto that. And once you have done so, that's basically that completed. Now, you'll notice that we didn't add the plate on this one here. So we'll need to draw that as well. And what that will look like, it will look more like this right here. Alright, just like this. And you'll show um, 
the holes where the bolts are going to be or where the bolts are like that and these that you have here you're simply going to place them there as well so you could just copy these Now my bolts, um, based on how they're looking, um, it has an arrow, but you'll place your bolts at these location, and then you'll add the the bolt, not the bolt, but the um, nut underneath it. All right, just like underneath it like this. So your your bolt, not the bolt, the nut would be. placed for example underneath here let me turn this off underneath here like that underneath here like this now if you notice um, based on so probably when I was drawing this there I drew it with an arrow um, with um, the threaded portion here because this has to be placed in a threaded portion unless there is something that I'm missing all right and it will be the same thing here as well so um, it is obvious that I missed something here all right because of how they are connected but this is what it will the general look of all all of this um, assembly will look all right these are the only thing that would be at everything else will just be left um, as his these are some of the stuff that will be in hidden detail line all right and the rest would be left as is all right and these are the two things that they want this is the um, section elevation or the end the section elevation remember that you have to add your label so you write the name of it underneath so do you want to use text or do you want to use text you change the text height um, and you say that this is um, section I, I don't remember what it was called X X and this one here is um, end elevation or end view I think that's what it's called or what they have sorry and you can add the scale as well if you want scale would be one to one one two one all right now this smaller one or we have the scale it can decrease the text size to half of the original all right just like that and all you have to do now is the portion that they ask you about scaling your drawing and all that fancy software you go to your layout the layout that you have probably had your final drawing where is it is it this the one that we're using and you're simply going to set the scale to for example here one to one Notice how it automatically adjusts for you. You double tap outside. You fill in your name and your information and all those fancy stuff. And you simply print your PDF for Mr. Um, Johnson to remove from the computer and print for you. Alright. And then you do your sketch and design portion. Please note, you'll probably sort out these stuff that you have here as well. So you wouldn't have this line running through that. You'll have a, probably have to erase that out of the way, leaving the web, um, as well as there are some stuff here that you'll have to adjust as well. A good amount of stuff that has to be adjusted. So if you have the time, you could make uh, adjustment to all of that stuff there. Um, Nathan, um, sorry, uh, sorry. Sir, could I do the, um, the page setup thing again, sir? The page setup um, settings? The page setup. Okay. Okay. 
Now, if all goes well, uh, you'll have all of this on your computer tomorrow. So, all you need to do is just right click down here and select from template. And you should see um, a name here. So, it says it's going to be this 11 by 17 title box. <coughs> or um, you'll probably see Woolmas or WM um, DM. The DM meaning or the M. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, in a sense, this is where you'll find. So, even if you don't find something, um, you can always um, come here and select manufacturing metric, um, and you'll have one down. No, sir. I meant the thing when you were talking about the printer PDF thing, sir. Like when you were on it a while ago, sir. Oh, you just, um, you know, like when you print on anything like Microsoft Word, just once you activate print or plot, you're going to be greeted by this window. Um, to set it up, all you do is select your printer. So you go here, you can select Microsoft Printer PDF, and because that will limit it, limit your paper size to just the, these few here. So you just select the one that is yours. So um, I'm just selecting tabloid because that's AKA legal um, 11 by 17. Um, you can also change the how it, how it looks. So I normally go monochrome because I want everything to be blocked. Um, and then after you can apply it to layout and then preview what it will look like. If it is what here you want it to look like, meaning that everything is okay. Mine here is not okay. There are so much things I could do, such as the center lines, um, the line weighting, sort out those bolts, and a bunch of other stuff that I could fiddle with to get perfect to so ensure that um, my work is good going up. All right. Um, once everything is okay, you just simply click on print. It will ask you where you want to save the PDF file. So you go to your desktop. If you go to your desktop and you create a folder, for example, you right click create a folder and you write your name. So whatever your name is, Ricardo, and you add your candidate number. You add the candidate number and you save your file inside of it under your name as well with your candidate number and you have also put your candidate number inside these spots as well select select save it will create your pdf file ready for printing for um can we automatically see the desktop here no all right, so you would have um, it would have been saved to your desktop where we get where the school can get access to it. Remember, you have to fill out these information here with your center, the date of the exam, candidate number, your name, title, those stuff. And remember, you must have this. Put in your center lines. Um, your hidden lines are okay. All should be all okay. Your bolts should all look all right. Your etching pattern should look okay. Um, ensure that your line types are right. Ensure that whatever should is not should, would not be visible. Ensure that you change those to in detail. For example, this being behind this here, which is basically this portion here, um, you would not necessarily see it. So you make those in detail. Um, as you can see here as well, there is portion that is missing. So there should have also been a line running across here to indicate. Um, this is a gap underneath here. So that's one thing that's missing from mine as well. So you have a line going across here, but that line is going to be in hidden detail. Alright, because it is behind all of this fancy stuff and we're not directly seeing it, but we need to indicate that it's there. So you know, you put that in hidden detail. Alright, so there's a bunch of stuff that you can do to refine your drawing. Nobody should be sleeping tomorrow. You draw, you draw until you fed up or you draw some more and... Um, you lay out the drawing, you don't look the way you want it to look, you, you go over and adjust certain things and you lay it out again, alright, once you have completed, alright, this is the reason why I say you draw everything and you put them together afterwards because it will make things a lot easier. And when you're assembly it, assembling it, um, copy, because just in case you made a mistake and you, something shifts on you, you'll have the original to, to move or make adjustment to and then pull it or push it to where it needs to be. All right. Yeah, but um, this will be this um, tomorrow. Um, um, maybe it will be easy. The one that you get, maybe not. I don't know. But either way, you should be fine. Either way, you should. Um, be fine. sir. Yeah. Sir, I heard that we're not bringing our computer, sir. Where that all go, sir? 
Um, that's because you're going to be using the school computers. All right, but what you should take is a computer mouse because we do not have enough. All right, now also you may also take your computers just in case because you know anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So I would say take your computers as well. All right, um, your computers will be safe if you're using the um, ones in the lab. All right, if all goes well, um, everybody should have this layout here in on the school computers. So all you're doing is going here to lay out your drawing, add your candidate name and all that stuff, generate a PDF and goodbye and it's time for your other exam. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Say another thing, sir. Yeah. Um, what type of AutoCAD will we be using? Um, I think in the lab they have 2018 and 2022. So I can work with the 2022. Um, so you work with 2018 then? No, sir. What, what's wrong with it? Sir, so you're not less than a 2021 now, go work in a sir. Oh, so I said they have 2022. Oh, yes, oh, oh. Go oh work, sir. Almost. And I think that's the one that they're going to fire up for everybody, 2022. 2022 version so you should be fine all right um just don't stress out the, the whole computer them too much because they will freeze on you you know okay see him but sir oh we know send no across is no reach with sir and light just gone sir if the light if the light cut um you draw off your t-square and set square what wrong jps <laughs> not no jps <laughs> <laughs> JPS a fighter, you sir. They always take all these same thing as school, sir. Don't worry yourself, man. Yo, Jaden, charge your laptop. All right, so bring, bring, bring your safety measures in the form of your computers, just in case. Ensure that you have your computer mouse. But um, we're good. Um, like you will not, we will not lose light at school during the day. You know why? You don't know why. You have been. I not trust that, sir. We have, we have solar, sir. Solar. As long as oh. the sun is out, and we always have the sun. That's the reason why the field is so sir. dry. Yeah, but I gotta say something done. So while ago, you know, okay. but I say that you we emblem of the sun, you know, sir. Okay. Yeah, man. We have the sun, man. So once we have, once we have the sun, we are gonna have current. So, sir, what kind of thing is conspiring? Repeat. What kind of thing would we get for the sketch and design? Um, the sketch right. and design that could take a variety of um, forms. Um, for example, let's see if we can find a sketch and design on this here. Uh, here, so here is the sketch and design. So, so here they gave you this thing here. So it says this here shows the elevations for two parts of an inch bracket the pivot pin into the body of the bracket assembly the part so assemble the parts and make a full size isometric drawing of the inch bracket a as This is the end view. And we have the spin here. The here they're saying that they have to answer one question. So you could choose to do this isometric, sketch this isometric using the paper that they give you. Quick and fast. And, and then or you can do this one here. Where it says make a well need well proportionate artifact illustrating the poor following engineering. Fastener. So, mechanical person, you should do well. You say you would have gone through these. Um, cheese head screw, um, grub screw, double screw, but, water, uh, stud. I don't know. I don't know how to do that, sir. What these to sketch these? Yeah. Um, so these here. So, for example, this one here, cheese head screw. If you don't know what it look like, let's pull it up. We're going to. Pull it up. Did it spell cheese? Okay. Oh, this 
see that? Cheese is squeezed too. That's why we look like a cheese. Everybody can sketch one of these, right? Just look at this one here. You just sketch this and you're good to go. But it's hard to get it. So remember, you're not going to draw the treads on it. You're just going to draw two lines along the other side of it. Alright? Basically, like this. So this, this inner line here is representing the treading. And this is the, the, the cheese head part. Alright? So you would have probably gone to these in school conventions or something of the sort. Now the other one, let's see. Um, grub screw. Let's search that one. Grub screw. And this could take, because they could ask it for an isometric drawing, they could ask it for something else. Now here we have a grub screw, which is basically this here. So it's like a screw without a head. It's basically you have to have an Allen key to put it in the head of it. Alright. And remember again, you're not going to um, draw or sketch the trading. You're just drawing two lines down the side, alright? To represent the trading on it. Um, the next one is a double spring washer. Let's search that one double spring washer. And here you can see it's a double spring washer. Why is it a double spring washer? Because it looks like a spring and it's actually double. Now, this is your orthographic sketch. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Wait, so sir, the orthography would be like one, two zigzag lines there. Yeah, you simplify the two zigzag lines. <laughs> Somebody's paying attention. Alright, so instead of stressing about drawing out the helix, remember to simplify things. Just drop the zigzag and you're good, alright? Um, for the end elevation of it. The plan view is still the circle, alright? Where's the next one? Here? Alright. Stud. Um, we all know what studs are. Um, we should be able to draw the stud with ease. They're giving us the ring. So here we have our stud, basically a shaft. If you want to think about it like that, you simply draw a little um, shaft. If you want to have trading on it, you sketch the trading on it. If not, you just leave it as is. Here it is. All right, and. Um, these are the conventional representation for the different parts as well. Now, the final one is a Woodruff key. And the Woodruff key, if you've been to your Mectic class, you'll have probably learned about keys. Sir, fun fact. Comedic. Comedic. Huh? Sir, huh? fun fact, we were not taught about that. Okay, sorry. Fun fact. Sorry. All right. So. Like take a Tuesday. Mm. So you have a you have a make the class, right, sir? Like one like one for TV. So. Uh, you have one of these for make tonight. I mean tomorrow night, right? Uh, sir, please, sir. Right. Make tech students are begging. All right. Let me see what can one. Sir, we are begging out. Sir, we are begging out. All right. All right. So here we go. Um. Here is your woodruff, whatever you want to call it. I, I can't pronounce the word, the key. Now it's basically a regular key um, that you'll have, but instead of the regular flat key, um, the woodruff key has a curved section to it. All right, as you can see here, it actually cuts down into it and it's like a biscuit somewhat. All right, because a regular key, hopefully when I search, um, 
Shafi. I mean, it's at Shafi. Hopefully, it comes up. Yeah. So here is a regular key. Here is a regular key. All right. So this is a regular key. All right. This is a regular key. All right. That's this portion here. So you see the key. It slots into the the shaft, but the wood shaft key is not just a regular um block key. It is actually curved. Here are some other types of keys as well. Alright, so here are some other types of keys. Um, you have this one here, you have that one there, you have circular keys, a bunch of stuff. This is actually a YouTube video as well, so if you want, you can also watch this YouTube video on the different types of keys. Alright, so you can um, look at these types of keys, so if any one of them comes, you can quickly sketch them out. Alright, and here we have a... Dreaming of a career in computer science? So here we go. Yeah, here they are. And I think the names are on these here. So you have the regular square key, you have rectangular key, the woodruff key, you have the saddle key, and you have um, the tangent key. All right, and there are some other one here is here as well. So there are quite a number of keys. All right, um, is the computer charging? Check on this here. Oh, it's dying. Give me a sec. Computer is not charging. Come on. What's going on? Oh, yes. Oh, it is. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes. All right. You know, you know, matter. No, I did. Yes. So, al along with this, so it could be something, the sketch and design could be something in relation to um, convention. Excuse me, sir. But it could also be something else as well. Hello? Excuse me, sir. How are you trying to think at the end right there, sir? At the end of the arm. Um, what right this there, sir. That curve thing, yeah. What are you trying to say? It's not arc. Use not arc. Brilliant. Um, this part here, right? No, no. You see this part here? Um, no one has taught me how to do this, you know, I just drew it based on, if, as I said before, um, not much mechanical teachers are out there, and the ones that are out there are very selfish, so they're not really sharing anything. Um, but, oh, I've drawn this in the past. So you could just use a polydyne, right? Where is it? Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Um I think I lost myself. What am I doing? Oh, oh that little curvy thing there. Alright, so you see that curvy thing yes, there? Sir. Um no many persons draw it different different ways. All I do is you see this thing here, the spin tool thing? All I do is simply let me turn off this here. Let's go like this. All right, let me see. Let me see. Um, what it looks like again. Yeah, so as I said, I always just use this here and I go bam, 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 come around here and then back across like this, enter, you can always trim and adjust it accordingly. Yes, per. Okay, sir, thanks. Yeah, man, just like that and it's just it. Because you see... Um, that's basically what it is, you know, that's all, all right? All right. All right, so that's that. Let me see now. That's it. But as I said before, there is so many things that the sketch and design portion can go touch on. As, so here you're seeing where they're asking you for an isometric drawing based on the plan view there. Alright. Um, they could ask you stuff in relation to conventions such as um, how you'll represent these things here. Um, I've seen where they ask for how you'll represent um, certain types of sections. So they might ask for sectional things like that of specific things. So, for example, let me see if I can scroll down here to the sketch and design portion. So, here they want you to produce another isometric based on this, this sketch here, which is, this is a bracket. And this is something that comes almost every year. They want person to do well need sketches illustration of the different types of sectional drawing, which is basically the revolve section, um, the remove section, part section, and a half section. And just on that note, you know what? Let me pull up my sectional presentation here. But sir, what will we be doing those sections on the drawing above? Um, no, they'll normally give you something to, to draw it on. Or in this case, they want to make up something so it will be easier for you. Because if you're making up something here, you're simply just, so for example, the half section, let me have something here. I'm just going to have a little a rectangle right here. A half section. Now, everybody knows the full section. And a full section is basically you cutting the object in half, basically. Alright? So it means that you cut the object in half here. Now, a half section would be basically a quarter section. So, a quarter section is a half section to make things simple. So that makes it even more complicated, sir. Why not call it quarter section? So, this so, is the full that, section. so think about that. Like this. this one here is the full section. This is the half section. So, for this sectional drawing here, all you'll have is for this one here, let me see, down. This is what this one will look like. And if you were to, you're hatching this one, right? 
the half section now is basically is pretty much half so instead of you um, hatching the entire thing it will be only where these cutting planes are so here to here so what you what are the section you'll hatch only here that's the only thing that you'll see because it's as if you were to cut out this portion here out of the view and you're looking at the object so that's an half section all right now the revolve section no so for example if this was Let me see now. Here. Here. Hello? Sir, sir, sir. All right, give me a sec. Alright, so so if this was a hollow section here, say for example this is a tube or something, and we do a full section through it, we the solid portion here, you know we hatch that, the part that is hollow, that is not solid, you leave that alone. And if this was the same key if it was the same case over here for your half section. All right, all the section that you'll hatch will be only this section here because everything else will just be left as is. All right, because this is where a section line stops, but this is the only section that is actually solid that we have cut through. All right, so that is all you'll do that portion there. All right, for your revolve section, your revolve section has to do with circular object. All right, so your revolve section, say for example, you have like a wheel such as this one here, right? And on this wheel, Alright, so for revolve section, it will be basically you following the cutting plane. So for example, you'll have where your section line starts here, right? And it runs along here until it gets to the center, like this. Alright, or it gets to this point here. And then all of a sudden, it starts to take a circular path. For example, let me get another circle inside of here. Maybe I can explain better here.
trying to find uh, my presentation on sectional drawings. I know I have it. Yes. Um, yes. Let me see if I can find something on the internet. So this one here will be an half section. All right. This is not going to work. Well. Let me see. Now I can find something. So here we have full sections. All right, here we have um, half section. This one here. Let me see if I can find the ones that I want. Scanning, scanning. There is an advertisement here. Alright, this section here is known as an offset section. Um, as the name suggests, as you can see, that as if it runs along, you're seeing the cutting pin and it steps in a bit and it starts to run again. Um, something to take, make a note of when you're doing this section, you're not concerned about the stepping portion, you're only concerned about the part that are running horizontally for these. Alright, so you'll draw your section as is. And then when you get to where it steps out, you ignore everything and just continue drawing. So it starts to run again, you continue on this section. Notice what is happening here. So where the hole is, we show that as normal. Notice where it steps in, we do not show a cutting plane line or a line there. We just draw everything as if it's normal. All right. Um, the one that I really want to show you is the revolve section. More advertisement. Here is our half section. Half section. See what's going on. So you cut out this portion here, and only section that we'll see is flat section. Um, broken out, or this is kind of like a remove section. So it's as if you broke off a piece of the um, units or the object, and you simply add the section that you'll see. So, for example, this pipe here. You broke off piece side and we are see when you broke off piece side you see the little section here we arch. Likewise, if you broke off piece of one bolt, same principle here. Rotate section, which is basically the revolve section. Now it says that some part of an object have to be rotated to show the section. The cutting plane is passed perpendicular to the axis of the part to be cut. 
the cut portion is removed 90 degrees and drawn in the position i.e. turning the section until it uh, parallel with the plane of the object until it parallels the plane of the object the resulting views is a rotated section so for example here our cutting plane is along this section here as you can see when it passed through it but we would not see it if we were to cut it here so what we basically did is simply um, rotating things around more advertisement skip to the next slide all right so for example you're seeing this one here all right so it's as if we're spinning things around more advertisement uh, these are the some rules with uh, matching sir you can go up on the one with the hatching with the hatching yes sir What here? This is the part you're right, sir, <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. Um now if you check your classroom, you should be able to see it. Maybe it's there, it should be there. Um the presentation on sectional drawings. Because it has a lot more information than what than what is we're finding online right now. It should be a purple presentation. Should be a purple presentation that gives you our looks on the types of sectional drawings. So here we have our broken out section, which is basically the, um, what do you call that? The, basically the remove section. All right, right here, as you can see, it as if we, we, we broke out a section of the um, piece, and then we um, indicate the portion that we broke out, and then we do the hatching thing. Notice where this little cutting thing is and then we broke off everything along here all right so there's a possibility this is all coming on the exam right sir uh, they, the always, broken. they always ask for the types of sectionals it's either that or they ask you to do a, a pictorial isometric sketch of something that they gave you all right but as i said before the sketching design portion it could be anything from um, an isometric drawing to an oblique drawing but for those, they'll give you a, a orthographic drawing to produce the, the sketch from. Or it could be something in relation to um, conventions. So it could be something even um, like even these. They might ask you to draw these or to do a section of this here. Just to indicate um, a counter bore hole, a counter sunk hole. A blind hole, these are some of the stuff that can come on. They could also ask you to draw this in terms of like um, the conventional representation of 
um, threaded holes or conventional representation of um, threaded items. We could ask you stuff about these, such as you know how you represent springs, sectional drawings, mainly those type of stuff. All right, mainly those. All right, all right, because I think this is the this is what they got last year for their exam. This is what they got last year. Can you imagine doing this in class and then um, it coming on the CSEC exam? Huh? Can you imagine? Oh, so I did that possible today, so it was pretty good. Like it was kind of easy. So, since you use is that's a COVID question, right, sir? Yes. And we're getting a COVID question this year as well. Um, or a that, COVID that paper. This is what was applied um, earlier last year um, by the okay, CSEC. Hallelujah. God is good. No, no, don't get your hopes. No, 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 Yo, yo, never mind, never mind. Man, I jinx it, man, I jinx it, man, I jinx it. Huh? Sir, what? No, it's just, it's just over dimension, call it that. I don't know where the clamp starts or ends. Huh? Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out where the dimension stopped and where the clamp actually started. So there are so many things that you could come on the exam. Um, please remember when you're doing your sections, these are the stuff that do not touch. We do not touch. Remember the cutting planes. Remember the Excuse me, sir. All of that stuff. Yes. So I don't really go to all of my but the thing could have access no the PowerPoint. No 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 I would have to send it to you. Have to send it to you. Oh. So you could like put it in a Google Drive link or something, sir, by yeah, any chance. Yeah, yeah. It's in a Google yeah. Drive link. Thanks. I just need to just share it. All right. Oh, thanks, sir. Yeah. All right, sir. Thanks. thanks. Yeah, man. It's MC man, demo. All right. So here we go. You see, they have the, the terminology for the conventional representation. So we have keys here as well. Um. So key and the key way. The wall itself is the key way, and this portion is the key. All right, and here we have an end view of what it will look like. So you have a shaft, um, and you have a hub, and the key holds it in place. There are so many things that they could give you for sectional drawings, and there is so much thing to know. You're not going to know everything, all right? Just go into the exam um, with an open mind. If you do make tech, then it's a lot easier for you as long as, as, long as your teacher went through all of these stuff. No, because um, you see the thing with TE you now, um, going through all of these you now, you know, is a different thing, you know, because um, for most cases, if you're not doing the specialized area, specialized area, um, for most things that I would be teaching you would be in somewhat abstract. If I don't get example and show you that. Oh, um, this is a housing and this part here is a bushing. Um, you will not know. And this is how they normally arrange it. So, and just by you going through this stuff, you see, when you see certain questions come on the exam or certain assembly, you can easily understand where what would go and all that. So, for example, the one that we just did, it is somewhat similar to what we did here, you know. So, this is something that you'll have gone through in class. Because, can you imagine you go through something like this in class and then it comes on the exam? It makes things a lot easier for you because you're not trying to figure things out. Alright? Oh, and remember to draw your orthographic symbol at the end. Alright? So if you did a third angle, please ensure that you have the symbol there. Because you're getting marked for that. Alright? And this is how your drawing is going to be assessed. Alright? Because, for example, here, right? Um, our assembly, this is basically a third angle why or yeah it's a third one because we have our all two elevations are beside each other all right and we have this view here which is basically the section of this here so our cutting plane is basically running down the center here like this 
All right, that's where they said um, the ZZ section plane is. And this is the view that we'll see here when we cut it, the object itself. All right, so you'll drop your um, orthographic symbol here, your layout, your drawing, you add your labels, your text, you add your dimensions. Remember for the bolts, um, you have to use your leader line for that. So you use annotation, you draw your leader line, and you pull it on it, and you draw it off and say, oh, this is a... Uh, um, what did they say? M, M10. So you write the M10. Um, yeah, you write M10. And that that's basically it there. So M, if you want to put bolt on it, it's your business. Um, the more information you have, the merrier. The um, the bit merrier. Sir, do we don't on the actual section during the. Uh, no, well, if you label it on, on your end view here, you're good, all right? And you put in your dimension, so they ask for diameter, so you know, you pull out your diameter tool, and you drop on a diameter, because they ask for it, so you need to give them one as well. So diameter, you pull out your diameter, all right? If they ask you for radius, you know, you make sure you drop on a radius on it too. You drop a radius on it. Alright, if they want height and all those stuff, you, you make sure you drop on some height on it. So for example, between here and let me just do this. Here and here. And remember you're gonna make your, 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 your dimension neat because there is ways to do this, you know. You wanna ensure that everything is all aligned. Alright? You wanna make sure it's them aligned. Alright, see so you can be in and out and in and out and in and out. Things must be um you want to present your drawing neatly all right so for example here where you're seeing these numbers the numbers are not overpowering you, you know your, your dimension should not be as large as your drawing all right this is good enough so when you go into your laying out you can see clearly you see what's going on over here this is what you want to see all right or even better um so you're putting all your dimension based on what they ask for and such Alright, the hidden lines are all nice and good. As a sketch and design, as I said, if they give you an isometric drawing to do, then good for you. Um, where, where things can be difficult or um, might be a bit confusing is if, say, for example, they gave you something in relation to convention that you would not have gone through in class. Alright, that's the hard part. But if you have some general knowledge, you'll have understand what is going on. So, say, if they say anything in relation to screws, and anything in relation to section, you know, what it sh things sh should be looking like. So anything in relation to screws and such, if it's two lap joint, you know, the lap joint is probably going to look like between here and here, you know, the lap joint. And depending on what is holding it together, you draw it. So, you know, if it's just say, say it's a, a rivet or so, you know, you probably have like, I don't know. So you probably have something like that so that could be like a, a rivet or so um depending on what they ask you just general knowledge once you have an idea of what um things look like um so for example this presentation that you would have gotten from fourth form or what you would have covered in some class um you would have those knowledge now i'm hoping and praying that it's not well the paper is already at the schools so nothing much we can do about that but at least let's just hope and create something very simple all right so um that's that if, the, if there are any other questions <coughs> oh, sir where exactly in the school are the papers right now sir um it's probably you school in in you by the principal but i mean you pay if you get the picture come give me me that not stop me I mean, the, the papers are already at the schools all over the island already. All right? They don't take them on. So, sir, the, the, the math, like, sir, like, maths and, and history paper, did it, sir? Um, when is the maths and history paper? Tomorrow? 
then yes. no, uh, no, history is the day this Tuesday, sir. So, it's are they are the day? It's probably there. Oh, it's not a tomorrow, it's a come. Mm. I'm gonna go stop the people. Plenty of time, man. Why you think why you think there was a school down in St. and that there was a, 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 a whole drama the other day? Um about everybody in the class, everybody at the school getting grade one in math and then they're saying that something is wrong. Oh my son does that sketchy. Sir, why we must handle that, sir? We're about integrity. What's what's what I view it? What's you? Sir, integrity can put money sir, in the deep, deep, deep down, do you believe that for yourself, sir? No, well, I'm not man, you know, understand. <laughs> you guys are there, there's a reason why you score 100 on your pips, you know. So, sir, you know what? Sleep better, sir, with a bag of money. One, man, one sir. <laughs> so, you have a pre Distinction, not just one distinction. Sir, every, everybody in, a, in our your class get distinction, sir. You know what? That, you say you made the that's, best that's, teacher for the black, that's, isn't that's, me? No, I, I the school would have praised you. Sir, I can't take credit for your your. Oh, yes, please, sir. Sir, that's a good sir. Sir, you can go ill, or then everywhere you can't go overseas. Plus, I'm not going to show you a medal. You need to learn anything such as um that does not do did not do an SBA, despite me begging and pleading. <laughs> so we can't get a hundred percent fast just because I want somebody. Mm. Unfortunately, mm. Um, that's just the reality of life. So until um the majority of you guys um buckle down and do what needs to be done, um it will be forever. Or the past Stand that forever. Out, sir. So we can get on that Google Drive link, sir. Yeah man. Let me start with the template thing there. Um, for the book, because tomorrow. Right. Ah, sir. Yeah. So, sir, wife me come early, early, early in the morning, sir. I'm gonna bring my laptop, sir. Okay, I want to run through a little thing quick and fast. Yeah, man. Uh, a true. Lovely. You should write the teacher. Crack I don't remember. I don't remember. I have other classes in the morning there, you know, so. Sir, remember some sir, 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 Hello, hello. You know, at this point, I can wash my hands of you guys now. I've tried, you know. I've tried. Sir, which can I start? Six o'clock in the morning, sir? Sir, that is failing us, sir. Sir, what can I start that, sir? Sir, burn them, sir. Them not them not worthy of your time. Uh, sir, we kind of not go with the in the sir. We can't get my hands on We're not in the, in the group in the sir, so we can't get my hands on the Google Drive link. Yeah, man. Um, sir, question. Teacher, sir, block? No, we don't go with the at all. Nowhere near the place. Like, we don't go nowhere near the place. 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 Nowhere near let me create, create the, uh, the drive this, now. Yeah. Am I going to create this now? So, what the password for last year, sir? Um, the password, I'm, I'm not sure. I really don't know. It wasn't good though because there are a person that didn't do with the SBA. Really no, boy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why do I play with them life? Yes. Yeah, so. Remember, not everybody is the same, you know. So some persons um don't really care. But um I guess it's my fault. Because I should have found a way to motivate them enough to at least do the SB. Sir, all you for motivate them, sir, them, them, sir, no motivate them. They can't sir, sir, Yeah, but because of that, them fail, though. And the SB, I want to do the SB, it's an automatic failure. Automatic. There is no chance. But I, I got to motivate a few of them and they submitted their SBA late. They put in the work and 
I managed to scrub through with a grade 2. Um, so you can imagine if they had just done their SP properly, they could have gotten their grade 1 as distinction. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. Um, what's this going to be called? Uh, presentation. Shoot. Alright. So, everybody can just hold on to this link. Um, I'm going to add this stuff there, alright? I'm going to add the stuff there. Admit all. Uh, thanks, sir. Thanks, yeah, thanks, man, thanks. I'm thanks. going to add the stuff there. And the present. Click on the pens, man. Them, sir. And the past papers. I'm going to add them there. All right, sir. So let me start adding them here now. I need to find this stuff here. Oh, sir. So I have a request access. So you never make it so everybody on the link could I get it so you have no, like sorry. set it as the thing. All right, let me just do it using my regular um so even on my woman's account I need to request uh request access. Oh. no sir before you get the link it gives you like a, a decision to make if you want like anybody can access it or you can oh right there oh let me yeah. just do that then sorry let me just do that then I didn't even realize um owner restricted Anyone, anyone. anyone. All right, so let yes, me just yes. Again, then. All right, thanks for that. Because right, I didn't realize. Let me just put it in the chat. So once I have the file, add the file there, you should be good. All right, so that's the link there. All right, and I'll add all the, the presentations there. And all, I'll put the multiple choices there as well. Um, as things progress but that's all the way next month but nonetheless you need to swap the multiple choice from early what do you mean sir mm -hmm. all right but um I'm going to sir what is that like a month away is it a month yeah, away? Not it's over a month yeah, yeah, I, I think it's one of the last exam so that's why why didn't yeah, you June 9, June 9, June 9, June 9. Yeah. I'm going to switch the order, sir. Huh? Like paper one first. Um, I think that's no, how no. they're doing it for 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 key subjects. All the all the paper ones are first. So all the multiple so, ones are first. So sir, them just wicked and evil, then sir. Huh? So them just wicked, sir, and evil. Are paid millions to come up with these ideas. Millions to come up with evil ideas, sir. And that's just wicked. So, so sir, what, what you have to do in the um in the paper two for TD if you like get caught cheating, sir? Like, <laughs> what should you not do? What should you not do what? to like get come caught on. cheating? Oh, yeah, got cheats in a TD paper. That's a great question. Oh, the joint file stills, you know. Yes, <laughs> Uh -uh. Remember, there. I wouldn't encourage anyone to be doing stuff like that because um, it's no, me, sir. I mean, like, what should I not do? Like, I wouldn't think of it as cheating. Like, we can tab out of the AutoCAD and do something else on my laptop or no, oh, dog. Why are you wasting oh, that's what time you mean. and that looks all sus and everything? No, no, sir. No, no sir. <clears throat> Yeah, I got your attention here, sir. Well, I know you didn't know if, if the person is relating, is relating the exam, probably at a bad night, you know them way there. So, you know, so you have to get to the exam. Okay. So, now do not want to pull up. jeopardize anything. And pull up the Roblox after, after I'm finished. Yeah. All right. And please do not do anything sketchy this is the reason why our school is using an IT lab all right don't do anything sketchy all right integrity is most important yes sir integrity <laughs> yeah, man. yeah man them type of thing yeah man all right then so look a bit everybody I'm gonna add the files them and thing and I'm gonna start out the little template for tomorrow and plus I need to iron for school 
Yes, sir. Have a good night. Thank you for the help. Take care. After. Yes, sir. Thank, yes, thank you, sir. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah, man. Just, um, Just take care. Sweet dreams. What? Sir, where am I should come, man? All right, sir. All right, little bit. All right, sir. Uh, can I move college, try Flynn Dog. Subscribe to the YouTube, niggas. <laughs> <laughs>